It's 10 a.m. here in Zimbabwe's capital, Harare. Welcome to ZTN News Blitz. A look at our top stories. Zimbabwe's monthly basket rises to 4,000 Zimbabwean dollars. Zimbabwe doctors to receive ex-Japanese cars from government. Tanzanian reporters warned about courting foreigners. And in sport, Warriors defender teenage Hadebe finally renews passport. An average Zimbabwean family of five now requires at least 4,000 Zimbabwean dollars, about 250 US dollars to survive monthly. This was announced by the Consumer Council of Zimbabwe yesterday. The increase represents a 26.5% jump from the October figure of 3,160 Zimbabwean dollars. The lowest paid government worker earns 1,023 Zimbabwean dollars, equivalent to 60 US dollars a month at interbank rate. CZZ Executive Director Director Rosemary Siachitema spoke to ZTN. I know the total basket is going on for the regions of 4,000 of the whole basket. Uh, 3.9, uh, 3, 3 somewhere there. Um, I'm speaking from the top of my head, but th this is where it is. It has been going up exponentially, uh, you know, just uh, going up and up. Uh, I'm saying that because if you look at uh, the cost of rent, most of the people are charging in US dollars. Now, Zimbabwe is considering buying ex-Japanese cars for medical doctors in a move aimed at improving their conditions of service. The doctors have been on strike since September. Health and Child Care Minister Dr. Obadiah Moyo speaks. You know, we are also looking at the issues of transport so that we can be able to provide transport. You know, today we're even talking about the possibilities of uh, identifying you know, cars you know, for our doctors, you know, little cars, you know, kids or something like that, so that they can be able to uh, move from place to place. Tanzania's government spokesman has issued a warning to local journalists about quoting foreign organizations and representatives in their reporting. The warning comes a few hours after American and British diplomats released a statement criticizing the process of the just-ended local elections in the country. In a thread of three tweets in Swahili, government spokesman Hassan Abbas said some foreign organizations and representatives were using the media to spread rumors and propaganda. He said that local media and foreign media companies registered in the country were party to misinformation by quoting foreign sources. Moving on, Zimbabwe national football team defender Teenage Khatebe has finally received a new passport and is expected to travel back to Turkey today. Khatebe came for the recent Nations Cup qualifiers and his passport pages were full, which made it impossible to travel. The Warriors defender plays for Yeni Malatiaspo and his club had threatened to sanction him for not reporting for duty nine days after the international break. Hadebe's new passport expires in 2029. Correctional Queens stamped their authority in the Zimbabwe Rainbow Amateur Netball League and retained the title when they defeated Platinum Queens 47-38 at the Chikurubi training depot yesterday. The prison's outfit claimed the title with the game to spare. Still in sport, in UEFA Champions League matches played last night, defending champions Liverpool will need at least a point in their final group game at Red Bull Salzburg to guarantee reaching the last 16 after yesterday's draw against Napoli. Chelsea will not know their Champions League fate until the final group games after they drew at Valencia. In other matches played last night, Barcelona beat Borussia Dortmund 3-1, Ajax beat Lille 2-0. And that's all we had for you on ZTN News Blitz. Join us at 1 p.m. Thank you for watching.